in god's kingdom there is no democracy for god minority does not matter majority also does not matter what matters is the will of god the word of god holiness are you a chamcha pastor are you a leader christian leader who guides the flock but always are prone to say yes yes sir that's okay this is also okay no we have to be positive you know mm, you know we should not hurt their feelings no are you one of those pastors those priests those leaders who is a yes leader yes 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 okay okay let's see maybe okay okay are you then the message is perhaps for you yes god's kingdom is not for democracy number 2 god is not worried about who you are two kings number 1 king ahab number 2 king jehoshaphat if you read the word of god in two chronicles chapter 17 onwards you will know what i am talking about two chronicles chapter 17 onwards you can read two kings one king is a religious king another king is a spiritual king both the kings both these kings king ahab and king jehoshaphat both of them serve the lord both of them serve yahweh but ahab his was a religious king and jehoshaphat was a spiritual king ahab was a king who did everything for the name's sake perhaps he worshiped god he did not deny yahweh but he did not follow the lord sincerely and seriously and jehoshaphat was a person was a king he followed the lord with all his heart and he executed every action to please the lord in his kingdom in among his officials and among his people now these two kings come unfortunate they united that's another big story i will explain it now these two kings come and they king ahab who is greedy perhaps he wanted to capture ramoth gilead the adjacent territory so he somehow convinces convinces king jehoshaphat but even though king jehoshaphat was a spiritual king you see wrong company wrong company deceived him too but still something alerted in him he said let us inquire the of the lord inquire of the lord let us ask the lord so you know king ahab calls prophets almost 400 prophets among you know almost 400 prophets and to them this king ask what does the lord say will we succeed if we go for a battle against ramath gilead and all this foreign red said yes yes the lord is favorable for you the lord is you know uh, helping you the lord wants you to go all oh, yes 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 chamcha prophets but you no know, now i have been asking this question but the spiritual king jehoshaphat was also inside so he somehow felt something fishy so he said so this king jehoshaphat sent something he said uh, can you have uh, any other uh, you know prophet is there any other prophet um, apart from this 400 so ahab said yeah there is one more called mikaya you know this fellow always is negative man 
anything you ask negative negative against 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 i am displeased but still if you want then we can call him and ask him so king invites this prophet micaiah even though at the first thing first stage micaiah prophesies to favorable but uh, the king sent something so king again asked then micaiah said you will be defeated in the battle that's what the bible says he said i see the sheep of israel scattered so he indirectly says you will be defeated if you go for a battle against the kingdom called ramad gilead and this is what that king ahab exactly did not want to hear and he immediately says you see you see see jagashapat i told you, you know this fellow is a negative fellow See, all these 400 people are saying yes and the Lord is speaking to them and this fellow is saying no, 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 no and negative. And he got so angry, he called the soldiers and ordered the soldiers to take this true prophet and put him in prison. If you and I are a chamcha pastor, a chamcha religious leader, a yes, yes, yes reader, then you and i will never stand for the lord we stand with the majority and god is against the majority mikhaya the prophet of god he was even though he was minority he spoke the truth not bothering he knew prison was waiting but still he spoke the truth and the lord was with him but all the other 400 chamcha prophets they prophesied falsely they had a lying spirit in their tongues and thus what happened king ahab followed the lying prophets the false prophets the chamcha prophets the yes 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 prophets the positive prophets and king ahab lost to his life king ahab was killed in the battle that's what the bible says if you and i are following a chamcha pastor chamcha religious lead you and i will die spiritual death is sure because chamcha spiritual leaders yes 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 spiritual leaders positive 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 spiritual leaders for everything they have a positive answers positive explanation and positive 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 and this positive thing is sub- subject of psychology not of spirituality this positive gospel this positive message the positive message expectation of the flock had come has come because the flock the sheep the people of god do not want to renounce sin completely completely a group of people now who are following lenten season time to check there is no positive or negative with god with the god this matters the word of god matters is your life is my life according to the word of god what matters is your intention in choosing a religious leader a pastor or a priest are you choosing a religious leader a church that suits to your whims and fancies then you yourself are digging your own spiritual grave no one to be blamed but oh to those priests and pastors and religious leaders and you know gospel preachers who pump so called positive thing positive positive and deceive the flock deceive the flock because these spiritual leaders want is a group of people they need numbers they need tithes perhaps they need want to know they are people pleasers perhaps they are not lords pleasers see that's what happened the question is are you a religious person or are you a spiritual person are you a person who is entangled with only rituals or are you a person entangled caught up the love of god the word of god and try your best to follow you see king ahab died in the battle 
But Jagashapat escaped because of a certain reason God had mercy on Jagashapat. I told you in the beginning, Jagashapat was a spiritual person. So Lord had mercy on him perhaps. So he escaped and the king Ahab, the religious person died. All those who are there preaching so-called positive messages Fearing that their people will get hurt, the people will you know, get broken, you know, fearing that the people will not come to church and I will be all alone and my church will not learn. My dear brother, my dear sister out there, you will go to hell and you are going ta go, taking your people to hell. And no one to condemn you. But I am telling what this word is saying. Because I have said this, I lost people. I am fully aware of what I am doing. But what the word says, I am telling you. I will meet you in another video. Till then, bye bye.